Let's talk about math games. Our first game is called the mystery number. And what you'll do is go ahead and get out your number flashcards and pick one flashcard out the deck. If you don't have any flashcards, go ahead and write a number on a sticky note and then you're gonna save that sticky note or flashcard and hide it because that becomes your mystery number. Then you're gonna give children a problem to solve. If they're younger, simply just give them another number. Once they have solved the problem or have heard the other number, you will tell them if the mystery number is higher or lower than that number. Let's run through an example. If the mystery number is four, then I can ask children to solve four plus one, which would give them the number five. Then I will say the mystery number is lower than that number, and then they'll have to try to guess what the mystery number is. If they guessed the mystery number was three, then they would be wrong. Then I am ready to give them another clue. I can then state three minus one, and they will simply say two, and then I can say the mystery number is higher than two. Then hopefully they'll guess four, and if they guess four, I'll swap out with whoever said four first, and then they become the new mystery number picker. <laughs> Hey fun people, welcome back to Everything Aja. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Aja. Here on Everything Aja, I help parents and teachers make teaching as fun, simple, and systematic as possible so that you can teach smarter and not harder. And one way we do that is through really fun educational games. So today I'm going to give you five really fun math games that promote math fluency, mastery of basic math facts, and of course, number sense. So let's talk about this Beat the Buzzer game. Beat the Buzzer is a digital game that can be played in person or through distance learning. In Beat the Buzzer there are 10 rounds plus a bonus round. The object of the game for children is to actually make it all the way to the end of the game, thus beating the buzzer. Each round gets more and more challenging as the questions get harder and the time gets shorter. Now there is a little cushion in the game because kids are able to miss up to two questions per round. You can also make this more challenging and let them only miss one question, that is totally up to you. Now I actually have six different versions of the Beat the Buzzer game. I have number recognition, addition, subtraction, addition and subtraction, multiplication and division. If you want to find out more about the Beat the Buzzer game, then check out the link below in the description. Now our next game is called Grab the Card. And with this game, children would have to see how many cards they can actually grab within five to 10 minutes. You will set a timer between five or 10 minutes, doesn't really matter. And you're gonna actually spread out all your number flashcards, or like I stated earlier, you can write numbers on sticky notes, but go ahead and spread them out all around the floor of the room. Children will grab their sheet of paper and pencil and they're gonna have to walk around the room and create problems that give the sum, difference, or even product of any of the numbers on the floor. Once they're finished, they're gonna go ahead and grab that number flashcard or sticky note and save it to the end of the game. Now, if you're working with preschoolers or kindergartners, they can walk around the room and do the same thing, only instead of creating problems, give them either counting bears or they could just use their fingers and have them count to the designated number on the flashcard. Now, once the timer goes off, children will get to count up how many flashcards or sticky notes they collected. And if you're playing with an entire classroom of kids, you can have a winner of whoever had the most flashcards. Now, I'm all about working harder, not smarter. And this next game is actually one of the free games that I have inside my free activity guide that gives parents and teachers three games that you can use with any lesson or any standards. Make sure you download it. The link is down below in the description. But our next game is called Four Corners. Find a multiple choice worksheet that corresponds with whatever skill it is that you're teaching. Only displaying or saying one problem at a time, children will have to solve the problem or simply walk to the area of the room that corresponds with the answer choice they think is correct. This game is one of my favorite games because it makes children very active and you can also use it as an assessment tool because you can literally visually see who has the right answer and who has the wrong answer. Now the next game I want to share with you guys is Flip That Card! 
work. This was actually one of my favorite games to play with my students because it's very effective, fun, and simple. Now, depending on what operation you're teaching children, that depends on how you actually set up your math. So you can do comparing numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even comparing fractions. What you'll do is take a sheet of paper and instead of actually writing a math problem, give kids a deck of cards and a sheet of paper to work with and they are ready to go. Now this game works best if kids are in small groups or even pairs because everybody will have an opportunity to flip a card. Now before you start the game, go ahead and remove all the face cards and make the ace a wild. Now when it's a child's turn, they'll simply flip over the cards and put the cards face up in the rectangles. With their small group, the first person to accurately answer that problem would get a point. Of course, whoever has the most points at the end of the game would win. Now teaching math can be so overwhelming and frustrating and if you are at your wit's end and you just can't stand it anymore then you need to find a way to work smarter and not harder and make teaching as simple as possible. In fact I have an entire free workshop all about doing just this. In that workshop I share my proven three part framework and steps that you can do in order to make teaching simpler for you and also effective for children. So make sure you check out that workshop. The link is down below in the description. And if you're looking for even more mad games to put in your tool belt, then I suggest you watch this video where I give you even more really fun and effective cool math games.